Rich's ex-wife was a very big Democratic donor and spent lots of time visiting the White House for dinners and social events and that kind of thing. Denise Rich is her name. So Mark Thiessen joins us now, columnist for The Washington Post, Fox News contributor, and a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. Good to see you this morning, Mark. Um, Good to see you, Martha. First of all, uh, tell everybody who Mark Rich is and why this uh, revelation of these documents would matter. Well, Mark Rich was a Clinton confidant who was on the FBI's 10 most wanted list because he had a habit of trading with regimes that were under U.S. sanctions. So he, he get traded, was caught trading with Iran at the very same time in 1979 when they held 53 American hostages. He traded with the apartheid regime in South Africa. He traded with Libya and Yugoslavia and North Korea and Cuba and the Soviet Union. And so he was facing life in prison for racketeering, tax evasion, and trading with the enemy. But as you pointed out, Denise Rich was a major Democratic donor, gave more than a million dollars to Democratic uh, campaigns during the Clinton era, almost half a million dollars to the Clinton Library. And so on his final day in office, in a very controversial move, Bill Clinton, over, over Justice Department objections, pardoned Mark Rich, which is very unusual because usually a presidential pardon goes to someone who's, who's paid their debt to society, who's changed their lives. Mark yeah. Rich was a fugitive from justice. This had never been done before. And so it was hugely controversial at the time. So the Clinton campaign says this is not coincidence that the FBI decided to release these documents with six days to go. You know that they're very rankled. They think the FBI is basically after them, given uh, Comey's decision last Friday. Do they have a point? Well, you know, the guy, interestingly enough, the guy. These are this is into the investigate. These are documents into the investigation of whether criminal charges should have been brought against the Clintons for the for the pardon. And they decided not to bring charges. And the prosecutor who decided not to bring charges was James Comey. So it's kind of hard to say that this is somehow an anti-Clinton move. They also gave in documents about Trump uh, by Fred Trump, father, uh, Donald Trump's father, at the same time. So this is not. This is just a. This is a routine FOIA request. But why it's relevant to this election and why they should be worried is that. Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton have continued to enrich themselves in the years past from their connections with Mark Rich associates. For example, one of Mark Rich's uh, associates was a guy named Gilbert Chiguri. He would, they traded oil together in the, in the uh, international oil markets. Gilbert Chiguri was denied entry into the United States for terrorist ties with Hezbollah. He was convicted of money laundering for plundering the asset, oil assets of Nigeria in Switzerland. And he was a major Clinton Foundation donor, gave a billion, pledged a billion dollars to the Clinton Global Initiative, uh, was invited to Bill Clinton's 60th birthday. And while she was Secretary of State, her State Department was negotiating with him to buy his land for a U.S. consulate in Nigeria using taxpayer dollars. So they were doing business with a convicted money launderer with ties to terrorists who was a Mark Rich associate. So they have continued to enrich themselves through their connections to the Mark Rich uh, shady universe.